Hi, I'm Master Plumber Ed Del Grande, and if your faucet has a standard aerator like this faucet, you're probably using over two gallons a minute to wash your face and brush your teeth. You could really cut down your water use by installing a low flow aerator in your faucet. Let me show you how to do that. The aerator is located right at the end of the faucet spout. And to take it off, lock your crescent wrench into the two slots, and then you can take it off by hand. Now, once you remove it, the new aerator may have its own hosing, or in this case, I could reuse the same hosing. Either way, check to make sure no washer or debris is stuck up in the spout. The new aerators come in a kit, and you want to get your old aerator, and you can pop that right out. Okay, now you get your new aerator. You can see this has a green on it, so it shows it's a water saver. And you can slide that in place, and then slide your washer in place, and then put it back on the faucet. Now line it up with the spout and start turning it. You may have to reverse it here and there to get the threads caught and just hand tighten it. If you notice that there is a drip after you install it, you can always get your wrench and just give it a snug, but don't over tighten it. And that's it. For more information on saving water, please visit cola.com slash save water.